So make sure you got your priorities right. That's what I wanted to come on here and make really this video about. It's causing so much division. So many of you are hating one another. And we are supposed to be loving and caring and love one another. So if this makes you hate your brother, you got to recheck your heart about this whole thing. Okay. You got to, re you got to get recentered. If, okay. So here, here's the thing. If you're so consumed with the fat, flat earth, okay. And you're getting up daily and this is what you check out and you're so passionate about it. And I get it. Okay. You're passionate. Cool. I've been passionate about things, but when others don't agree you, and especially Christian brothers and sisters, you get mad to the point that you don't even want to fellowship with them. And you're like, ah, oh, what an idiot. Can you believe it? That guy thinks that the earth is round, but bud, check your spirit. And the same thing on the other side. Okay. Um, if you are, you know, someone who believes in the round earth and, you know, gets passionate about that to the point that you create division, that's not a good thing. Okay. So we need to brothers and sisters categorize things as secondary and there's cardinal things that are very important. Okay. Uh, these are the things that are dividing us and are, are the, the cardinal, like the gospel. If, if someone preaches a works based salvation, a word of faith or any type of false gospel, that's reason to separate and to cause division. But then the other stuff, that's just secondary stuff. And, and for sure, God can use it. And, and you know, uh, like some, some people are saying, bring themselves to the Lord through that. Great. That's awesome. But if it doesn't and it causes you division, then, you know, okay. Okay. I understand the ones that are concerned, but I also, I am not overly concerned about the flat earth theory. And I'm not going to, when you send me a bunch of emails and stuff like that, take all my time. I'm studying the Bible and I'm trying to be edified and, and strengthened in the Lord. And this doesn't really concern me all that much. Okay. Be. Jesus is our is the, the, the thing that we're trying to prove to people with the gospel. Okay. So if you're a flat earther and you've just made the flat earth your gospel, just be careful. Okay. Putting all your time and energy into that. I myself, I try and expose lies of the entertainment industry and stuff that's going on. That stuff is not the gospel. Okay. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is use that to bring people to the gospel, right? So I will say that from my own personal study of it, NASA is lying. I don't believe in their space missions. Um, I'll say it. I don't think they went to Mars. I think that was staged in a Hollywood basement and millions and millions of dollars were funneled into secret programs. They're redoing the same thing with Mars right now. I don't believe they're going to go to Mars. Uh, so there is some stuff that... Um, I don't know if you're okay. So cracking the globe is obviously a flat earther. So we see cracking the globe come in here, dude, Mario, you can't deny this is an important topic. It, it's not, it's not how, how is anything important? If it's not the gospel, if it's not the true and saving gospel of Jesus Christ, there's nothing else that's important, buddy. Just nothing, okay? So being an evangelist of the flat earth and not an evangelist of the gospel is not centered in what the Bible commands you to do. God, God did not, doesn't have a special place in the Bible for you guys that says, go and make flat earthers. No, it says, go and make disciples. And how do we make disciples? We make disciples by the power of the gospel, period, okay? So, unfortunately, on a couple of points, uh, Vigilant Christian Mario is right, and I wanted to start this off by uh, affirming that. And I do hope that this could serve as a bit of a gut check, a bit of a heart check for many of us out there who, who do find the Flat Earth to be important and not something that should just be, you know, kicked to the corner. Because as much as I hate to admit it, it is true that there is a lot of people both non-Christians and people who are claiming to believe in the Bible who do flirt with that error of making the flat earth their gospel. There's plenty of non-Christians who it is their gospel. It is their whole everything. And I know that for some folks such as Vigilant Christian and um, Gans Shimura, Face Like the Sun, and many others, perhaps that is part of the confusion is that they're just getting bombarded by people from both sides of the flat earth camp 
and becomes very easy to conflate the two and to just write it off. And and if you're gauging if you're gauging the heart of something by just internet comments or YouTube comments, then yeah, that's a scary, that's a scary gauge indeed. Because I know for myself, I've seen lots of people speaking without love and having a very self righteous attitude and all this. And so right off the bat, I want to say that yes, that does go on. And yes, it we need to rebuke that and we need to bring that under the correction of the word and the spirit and check ourselves and not be become divided and to seek unity but overall i listened to this i listened to this a few days ago and it's a it was a 40 minute live stream thing so i'm not going to be able to touch on every single thing that he said but i did just want to kind of hit some of the few key things that stuck out to me because at the same time i still think that there's a, a fair bit of sort of self-contradiction i don't know how to really say it any other way and on the one hand i found this really encouraging because he's he's actually out of sort of out of one side of his mouth saying that yes there is probably something to this and i have looked into it and it does seem like nasa is lying at one point he actually does come out and say that he doesn't believe that nasa has sent you know sent people sent rovers to mars or things like this and that they are lying about a great deal of <laughs> claims but then most of what he's saying still is is kind of based around this point of that it's it's really not that important it doesn't make a difference that he's about preaching the gospel as he should be as we all should be that the gospel should be central and paramount and that we are exposing the lies of you know this fallen luciferian one new world order system to point people to the gospel and like many other figures out there i you know i can only assume that unfortunately probably most of what he has experienced has been a lot of negativity a lot of hate and uh you know that grieves me because absolutely, if you know, if we have not love, we're nothing. If we're making any secondary truth or any you know exposing of the enemy's lies, but not bringing it back to the centrality of the gospel, then it's all for nothing. And as he kind of admits that that's what he tries to do himself, and so I think that that his own words kind of inadvertently reverberate back to his own channel and his own ministry. And at one point he talks about how he's not you know called to look into these things, and there's different parts of the body. And absolutely, and the interesting thing is that I don't think anyone is really saying that that you know that for the christian truth community that this flat earth should just be the only thing anyone ever talks about and i don't really think that that is of the you know the the serious researchers who are into this and of the mature christians i don't hear anyone saying that and what's sort of ironic is that he, he does make lots of statements which kind of reveal the fact that he doesn't quite understand how much the flat earth issue the cosmology issue as i think it's probably better phrased does pertain to so many of the things that he's already <laughs> been talking about for years and so many others and this is what is sort of the peculiar thing is that on the one hand they there is a valid point in saying well there's so much division and so much animosity and hatred that is unnecessary and that sadly again we have to admit that that it exists and it needs to stop and we need to like confront our brothers and sisters and you know admonishing that kind of behavior and saying hey like if you're just gonna you know call people names and act like a jerk because you think you're right and they're wrong well then you're in the wrong because you're not acting in love if you're speaking truth but not in love it's not of god so again he's got a point there but at the same time it's so interesting how it's almost like so many of these researchers out there, you know, people, you know, Christian brothers and sisters who understand the reality of the New World Order and that there is a, it's a satanic, that ultimately what we're dealing with is a satanic conspiracy. It's not human beings that are plotting to, you know, just gain more control or more power or more money. That it is, it's a spiritual agenda. And they're talking about all kinds of things that are not just the the pure, you know, distilled gospel outside of any other things, whether it's, you know, CERN opening portals to the demonic realm or, you know, or exposing Illuminati symbolism in Hollywood and all these things, which is going on all over the place. It's been going on for years and years. You know, how many people out there have been talking about the, the UFO deception and the fact that there are no aliens, but it is in fact demonic. I mean, how many, how many Watchers DVD series has L.A. Mar Marzilli put out over the years? And uh, people like Chris White in their Ancient Aliens debunked uh, series, which has millions of views. You know, within sort of the Christian fringe community, the Christian truther community, you know, we we don't hear people rebuking them for talking about things that aren't that are secondary to the gospel or that are elevating that above the gospel. And yet, with flat Earth, whether people are Christian or not Christian, across the board, they pretty much all understand that there's no such thing as aliens, and that it's a deception, and that it's propaganda, and that it's a lie. 
and yet suddenly that is not an important thing to talk about, even though you've been talking about it for years. So I still find it a hard thing to, to fully comprehend, to try and relegate this to something that's just secondary and unimportant, when really the bottom line for the Christian who's looking at the flat earth, it really comes down to the truthfulness and the literalness of Scripture, starting with Genesis and going all the way to Revelation. You know, I mean, if Jesus himself said that the stars are going to fall from heaven to the earth, and you're going to try and tell me that it makes no difference whether that's allegory or, you know, literal, then I'm, I'm sorry, I just, I can't, agree, I can't agree with that. We're talking about interpretation of scripture. And that's one of the big prickly issues that this whole topic has inadvertently uh, busted open that, that has caused so much of the division is because suddenly we're now faced with all these questions, especially as it revolves around the issues of creationism, where people are going, wait a minute, Suppose when it comes to a literal six-day creation or a literal flood or the literal, you know, or the historical accounts of Jesus literally performing real miracles, we're supposed to take the Bible at face value and treat it as literal truth. And yet, whenever it blatantly contradicts Copernican cosmology, suddenly we resort to allegory and, you know, poetic interpretation. And that, that is concerning. That is a double standard. That is problematic. And that is actually not something that you can just kind of brush aside and pretend like it's... You're talking about the Bible. You're talking about whether the Bible is, is really true at what it says at face value versus what the Luciferian world system says. You know, for somebody to say, well, I'm, I'm called to talk about Hollywood and all the deception and all the, the programming and propaganda coming out of Hollywood. The irony is, is that this is showing that what NASA really is, is just a part of the Hollywood system. <laughs> <laughs> that it's not science at all. That it's just stagecraft. It's production. It's a deception. In some ways more so than, you know, music videos and movies. Because when you watch that, people actually at least know that they're watching a movie. They don't think they're watching something real. But with NASA, they think they're seeing people up in outer space. They, they think they're seeing probes going to the other end of the solar system. And that's a pretty massive deception. And at one point somebody says, well, this is the biggest lie. And he says, no. And Mario says, no, that the biggest lie is that Jesus didn't never existed. And there's people out there making that claim. And that's, that's absolutely true. But I think what a lot of people mean by that, certainly what I would say is that, you know, the biggest deception in terms of people faking things in order to convince the world that, you know, evolution is true, that the Big Bang cosmology is, is scientific fact, when it's, it's all a lie. So in some ways, it's like, are you are you really concerned with truth and versus lies, or do you just want to focus on the ones that you feel that you have a grasp on and the ones that are outside of your, you know, comfort zone? Because how many people could make the same kinds of critiques about the things you're talking about? You know, they they're not really concerned about whether Katy Perry is an Illuminati MK Ultra puppet. You know, there's millions of people out there who are not who could care less about Disney and about pop stars and about Hollywood Satanism. There's a lot of people out there who don't even believe in Illuminati and know that it's, you know, basically generically satanic and Harry Potter is evil. So does that mean nobody should talk about it? Just because some people don't get exactly how serious and how twisted it is? But if NASA is just as much of an Illuminati of an organization as Disney, then it's makes no sense to kind of shrug off one while you, you know, how many of your videos are talking about Hollywood and Disney and the entertainment industry? It's all one thing. It's all one system. It's all part of the one Luciferian lie. So, come on, man. I know there's a lot of childishness. Part of that is just the nature of the internet. And you have to learn to filter through that and really see to, and really be able to get to the heart of the matter. There's just as many people you know, acting, and you know, there's plenty of division and hate and squabbling going on over everything, whether it's CERN or, you know, the 9-11 or the Illuminati or whatever. That doesn't mean that those aren't important things to talk about as Christians and understand what's really going on. So that's my two cents. about and i get it okay you're passionate cool i've been passionate about things but when others don't agree you and especially christian brothers and sisters you get mad to the point that you don't even want to fellowship with them and you're like oh what an idiot can you believe it that guy thinks that the earth is round but bud check your spirit and the same thing on the other side okay um if you are you know someone who believes in the round earth 
and you know gets passionate about that to the point that you create division that's lose it and and you know uh like some some people are saying bring themselves to the lord through that great that's awesome but if it doesn't and it causes you division then you know okay okay i understand the ones that are concerned but i also i am not overly concerned about the flat earth theory and i'm not going to when you send me a bunch of emails and stuff like that take all my time i'm studying the bible and i'm trying to be edified and So make sure you got your priorities right. That's what I wanted to come on here and make really this video about. It's causing so much division. So many of you are hating one another. And we are supposed to be loving and caring and love one another. So if this makes you hate your brother, you got to recheck your heart about this whole thing. Okay? You got to re you got to get recentered. If okay, so here here's the thing. If you're so consumed with the fat, flat earth, okay, and you're getting up daily, and this is what you check out, and you're so passionate, not a good thing, okay? So we need to, brothers and sisters, categorize things as secondary, and there's cardinal things that are very important, okay? Uh, these are the things that are dividing us. and or, or, the, the cardinal, like the gospel, if, if someone preaches a works-based salvation, a word of faith, or any type of false gospel that's reason to separate and to cause division but then the other stuff that's just secondary stuff and and for sure god can use